the top 10 Vincent Price films, according to the internet, because you know you love that silky voice. Vincent Price. Just saying his name makes you feel like you're wrapped in a velvet cloak, ready to descend into a fog-covered castle where something evil is afoot. The man is an absolute icon of horror and camp. Whether he's tormenting innocent maidens or delivering menacing monologues with that glorious, deep, buttery voice. So, because the internet loves to rank things, I've scoured Reddit, IMDb, Quora, YouTube, and Ranker to bring you the top 10 Vincent Price films because, darling, we simply must know which films of us send the fanboys and girls swooning the most. 10. The Mad Magician 1954 Vincent in 3D Or was it just an excuse to wear the glasses? Kicking off this list is The Mad Magician, a movie that was basically created to capitalize on the 3D craze of the 1950s. This is like a low-rent house of wax but with stage tricks instead of statues and Price plays, you guessed it, a magician gone mad. Shocking, I know. IMDb reviewers say this is fun in a cheesy way, which is internet code for this film is ridiculous, but we love it. Honestly, if you've ever wanted to see Vincent Price lob a saw at the camera like he's in a carnival, this is the one for you. 9. The Raven 1963 Magic, Murder, and Comedy? Oh yes, The Raven is a campy classic where Price joins forces with Boris Karloff and a very young Jack Nicholson. Is it a straight-up horror film? No. Is it an oddball? Supernatural comedy based on Edgar Allan Poe's poem? Sort of. Reddit commenters call this charming and lighthearted, which is basically how you describe Vincent Price laughing maniacally while performing cheap parlor tricks in a wizard's robe. Also, did I mention Jack Nicholson? Yeah, he's here, and no, you're not hallucinating. Now I'm going to wake up in the morning with a house covered in toilet tissue. 8. The Tingler, 1959. Because fear literally grabs you by the spine. Oh, The Tingler, you weird, wonderful, electrifying thing. This is the film where Price plays a scientist who discovers that fear itself is a literal creature that grips your spine and won't let go. Quora users have dubbed this one a gimmicky delight, and they're not wrong. Director William Castle famously installed buzzers under theater seats to give audiences a tingle during the film, so really, this was Price in one of his more shocking roles. See what I did there? 7. Dr. Fibes Rises Again, 1972 Twice the Fibes, twice the fun. If you thought the abominable Dr. Fibes was the only time Price would play an undead organist hellbent on revenge, think again. Dr. Fibes Rises Again gives us double the camp, double the wackiness, and apparently double the plot holes. YouTube comments describe it as, so bad it's brilliant, which is exactly what you want from a Price sequel. Expect lots of groovy 70s decor and elaborate murder methods involving everything from scorpions to sandstorms. This is Vincent Price at his campiest, and it's glorious. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and join the crew by subbing and clicking the bell. 6. The Fly Asterisk, 1958 Help me help you. Watch this classic. You can't have a Vincent Price list without the fly. No, Price isn't the one who turns into a half-man, half-fly mutant, tragically. But he is the concerned brother watching the whole horror unfold. This movie is a classic of 50s sci-fi horror, and Reddit agrees, calling it deliciously creepy. Of course, the moment everyone remembers is the tiny, doomed flyman squeaking help me as a spider descends. It's nightmare fuel in black and white. And if Vincent side Save your sassy sides for your windowless bars! 5. The Pit and the Pendulum, 1961, when Vincent's torture devices get really elaborate. Leave it to Edgar Allan Poe and Vincent Price to bring us The Pit and the Pendulum, where Price plays a tortured, paranoid man trapped in a castle filled with spooky hallways and, you guessed it, a giant, swinging pendulum of death. IMDb reviews call this one of the best Poe adaptations which is really just saying that Price made gothic horror look good. The set pieces, the over-the-top melodrama, the mustache, this movie has it all. And the internet still loses its collective mind over that final pendulum scene. 4. The Last Man on Earth, 1964 A precursor to all your zombie apocalypse fantasies. Before I Am Legend, before the Omega Man asterisk, there was asterisk The Last Man on Earth, 
where Vincent Price battles vampire-like creatures in a desolate world. Quora folks argue that this is underrated and an apocalyptic gem, and for good reason. This is Vincent Price at his most world-weary and somber, but even while playing a man slowly losing his mind, he's still got that suave charm. It's bleak, it's atmospheric, and it proves that even at the end of the world, Price can still own the screen. 3. The Abominable Dr. Fibes, 1971 Vincent Price in Full Camp Mode If you love your Vincent Price dripping with camp, then asterisk The Abominable Dr. Fibes is a must-watch. This movie is a bizarre concoction of murder, revenge, and one hell of a soundtrack. Price plays Dr. Fibes, a disfigured organist and scientist, naturally, who sets out to avenge his dead wife by killing the doctors he holds responsible. Each murder is based on the biblical plagues because of course it is. Reddit users eat this one up, calling it weirdly beautiful and grotesque. Bonus points for Price playing a character who can't speak but still manages to monologue in voiceover form. Iconic. I shall recite Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven. 2. House on Haunted Hill Asterisk 1959, the original haunted house horror. Before the haunting or poltergeist, there was House on Haunted Hill, the movie that had Vincent Price inviting five strangers to spend the night in a spooky mansion for a cash prize. Oh, and by the way, the house might just be haunted. YouTube commenters love to gush about how this movie still holds up today, even with its cheesy effects, a skeleton on a string, anyone. Price is delightfully devious in this one, with that smirk that makes you question if he's behind all the hauntings, or if he's just having too much fun scaring the pants off everyone. 1. House of Wax, 1953. Vincent Price at his creepy best. And finally, at number one, we have House of Wax, the film that cemented Vincent Price as the king of horror. IMDB users rave about this one, calling it a masterpiece of macabre, and Reddit can't get enough of Price's performance as the vengeful wax sculptor turning his victims into exhibits. This was Price's first big horror role, and it's iconic for a reason. The eerie wax figures, the fiery climax, the way Price can flip from charming to terrifying in an instant, it's everything you want in a Vincent Price horror movie. House of Wax is not only a classic, but it's Price that is absolute creepiest and most irresistible. So there you have it, darlings, the top 10 Vincent Price films according to the deep, dark corners of the internet. Whether he's trapping people in haunted houses, unleashing deadly plagues, or simply raising one perfectly arched eyebrow, Vincent Price remains the undisputed master of horror. And let's be honest, no matter which movie you choose, you're in for a devilishly good time. Who's your daddy?